Candy Corn has just introduced a new line of Laorna decorative zippers. And what's special about these zippers is both the tape is designed to show and many of them have teeth that are colored and are interesting as well. And I want to talk to you about how to install these zippers. The obvious way to do it and the first way you can do it is to simply turn the seam allowance to the wrong side and top stitch in place. I will state that these zippers are just a tad wider than you might be used to, so please check the zipper against your seam allowance on the pattern and you may need to add just a skosh more to the seam allowance to make it fit and not throw off where the center front is supposed to be. But I found a different way of doing the installation that's going to allow you to clean finish the wrong side of your garment without having to have a facing and this is what I want to show you today. It's a little bit different from what you're used to so let's go over this very carefully. The first thing I want you to do is to press the seam allowance to the right side of the garment and this is everything counterintuitive to what you normally do. You are then going to trim the seam allowance to approximately 3 eighths of an inch. The next step is from the wrong side to pin the seam allowance to the zipper. I've used a sharpie to mark my bottom here and you can see that there is a very thin little line that you are going to match the edge of the fabric to when you are pinning. top stitch right along the edge of the fabric. Then turn to the right side and top stitch again. What you have done is installed your zipper with two rows of top stitching. You've left a little room for your hem allowance. You've left room on top to, for your collar or your front, uh, upper facing, but you have also completely clean finished the back side of the zipper. I hope you'll try this technique.